Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and on the bench today we have this Unident UniAce 100 that has been sent in from a customer for a TX audio modification and a recap so that should be interesting as I've never done the TX audio mod on these before but before we start don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join Facebook, join Patreon, buy me coffee, have a look at my website and now a word about today's video sponsor PCBWay PCBWay PCB Way is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide range of services including 3D printing, flexible PCBs, CNC machining and much more. PCB Way also offer a prototype PCB assembly service with component sourcing and online quote. PCB Way is committed to meeting all of your PCB needs. They offer quality, on-time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards start for as little as $5 with 24 hour turnaround. Get an instant quote today by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below to check them out. Thank you PCB Way as always. So here we have the Unident UniAce 100 a um, classic radio from its time and we all know that these had slightly bassy audio now i was pointed towards a tx audio modification on this so we're going to do it and we're going to see how it sounds see whether it does actually brighten up the audio a little bit so what i've done is i've made a, an audio recording of how it is so let's listen to that test 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 one two one two Test, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, test, test. So that sounds bassy to me, as you would expect. Now, on this redrawn schematic diagram, there is the information for the better TX FM audio. So if we have a look at which part is actually changing, so we've got these op amps that's coming from the microphone circuit. So obviously it must be processing the audio in how it does it. So we'll just have a look at the schematic. So there's the, there's the audio from the microphone socket. It goes all the way across and into the op amp, out through the deviation, and up to the varicap diode for the VCO. On So that will be how it's um, modulated, pretty standard. So here's the inside of the radio. As you can see, it's pretty much untouched. It's nice to see. No bodges or anywhere, but it does have all these nasty capacitors, especially the 10 volt ones that like to cause trouble. So there's the components removed for the audio mod. As you can see, there's plenty of missing parts in the board so we'll get those put in or should we say we'll get the new parts put in so that so there they are so we'll just solder those into place if you want to know about this audio mod yourself go and download the the schematic diagram and the information is there. It's not really that hard to do. You just need a few few capacitors and what have you. And then you just need to change them as per the um, instructions. So we'll just get those soldered into place. There, looking good. So there's some ceramics and there's some polys in there as well. Yeah, looking good. All nice and tidy. Test, test, test. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. Well, I think it's made a difference. I think it's made it a bit brighter. So yeah, happy with that. So we're going to recap it anyway, because the customer wanted it recapping. So, you know, 
it is worthwhile doing it in these sets because of these nasty 10 volt capacitors. And by the magic of video editing, those new capacitors turn into old capacitors. And all those new capacitors mysteriously fall into the radio. So that's nice. And there's the list of capacitors should you wish to do this yourself on a unit N100. And the customer also wanted a beep fitted in there, so that's what was in the in the red tape. And they wanted a fresh decal fitting on the front. So obviously our friends over at Print Extreme make decals for this, so we fitted one of those. And of course, you know, cyanide readings, what have you. Some new screws in the side. Quite a tidy radio. So there we have it. Unit M100 or Uni Ace 100. TX Audio mod done. Recapped. Looking good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join Facebook, join Patreon, buy me coffee, have a look at my website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.